We built Colossus in light of the lessons learned from our previous static fire system. Back in 2015, for our first generation of engine testing, we had a not so complete system. It had many flaws in terms of structures and plumbing. And taking the lesson learned from that, we decided to build a platform that is not only to benefit us in terms of testing our propulsion needs, we also want to reach out to the community of collegiate and amateur rocketeers to enable them to be able to test their engines and innovative ideas more rapidly and in a portable level. The ability to test in any engineering discipline is key to the Lupa innovation. We want to provide this tool to the entire community of rocket researchers so that new ideas such as 3D printing and innovative injector designs, chamber designs can be rapidly validated. Colossus will be the ultimate innovation catalyst in the play field of amateur and collegiate rocketry. The entire length of the Colossus project to date has been two and a half years. It took us one and a half years to go through the design process, which was confirmed by a critical design review with engineers from NASA. And in the past year, we've been working hard to construct the Colossus itself. The entire project has cost us over 15,000 man hours all collected, as well as up to $300,000 of both in-kind as well as monetary asset being put towards the construction of the project. The structure is designed to take 5 G's of acceleration in every direction during transportation and it's designed to take 3,000 pounds of force from a rocket engine at the front. The toughest thing was designing a system to hold the tanks into place because designing something that can withstand cryogenic temperatures and hold 700 pounds of tank is really difficult and there's a lot of compromises that go into that. So for the plumbing part of Colossus, the whole design is basically oriented around the need to develop a lot of propulsion from these engines. In Colossus, both the fuel and lock side are cryo-compatible. While designing the plumbing system, we had to keep in mind that our main collaborators would be at a collegiate or amateur level. About 90% of the tubing and connections were prepared by the members of our plumbing team and gave us some much needed hands-on experience that we can definitely contribute to the rest of SEDS. Uh, the electronic system on Colossus is very important because it has total control over so many critical components that they're carrying fuel and high pressures. Uh, we had a lot of safety requirements uh, that led to the need for a custom designed command and control system. What also sets apart this system from an amateur system is the use of a commercial data acquisition system. So we can gather high quality data at very fast rates. The software on Colossus is built to consistently provide the operators with all the status information about Colossus in a clean and intuitive display. Colossus is ready to see the newest, most innovative ideas to be validated on our system. Are you?